you know, most vehicles that we do test work for the family. You know, they just have to have rear seats and rear doors are handy. However, this week's tester could be the ultimate family vehicle that is for what we've driven so far this year. This is the new Volkswagen Atlas and we're gonna do a big family test on it. Okay, family is in here. How's it going, family? Great. Lots of room. <laughs> okay, so to, just to prove uh, how big this vehicle is, we're just going to jump right into it. Cynthia is in the third row way back there. We've actually had uh, used this third row a few times. The kids have been back there. I've had uh, grandpa in the second row there. This you know, spoiler alert right now, this is a great family vehicle. So let's get to the goods of this. This is the 2022 Volkswagen Atlas. Now the 2022 and the 23 will be virtually the same. It's 24 that it's gonna get a big revamp on it. So this particular color is called Aurora Red Chroma. And this uh, trim line is the exec line, which is the top trim. So under the hood, we have, instead of that four cylinder, we have the 3.6 liter V6, and that has 276 horsepower and 266 pound feet of torque. Uh, so that's matched also to an eight speed automatic transmission. One thing that we noticed, especially even Cynthia noticed it before, because she drove it first hand. What did you notice, Cynthia, about this vehicle driving it? It's a lot of torque, and then at times, <laughs> It could be a little bit too too much torque. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's it's so responsive off the line, and you know, it's kind of odd to complain about that that it might be too responsive, meaning basically the gearing might be a little bit low on it. So when you're starting off from a stop sign, uh, it could be a little bit jerky because there's it's just right there, you know. So even when we're in normal or comfort mode, um, it's just. It's a lot. You get used to it though. And this thing has great, great torque though and, and decent power. Uh, fuel mileage isn't the greatest if you are driving in and around town. We're averaging about 12.8 about to 14 liters per 100 kilometers, which is, yeah, it's not the greatest, but this is a large vehicle. So uh, let's talk about the outside. Well, it's a big vehicle. The exec line gets 21 inch wheels. Uh, the standard, it gets 19 inch wheels. You also get a power tailgate. This does have the hands-free option. However, I couldn't figure out how to actually close it with a hands-free. It will only open hands-free, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but uh, there, I couldn't get it to work. I really did try. Now, once you open up the back though, that cargo area is big. And normally when we have a three row SUV, even when we owned our, our Toyota Highlander, most of the time that third row is folded down so to get extra cargo room. On this one, I've really noticed we've actually had the third row in the upright position a lot um, because there's a decent amount of room back behind that third row. Like enough that if you look at this image here, our travel case fits in there no problem behind that third row. And it's enough to, when you go grocery shopping and things that it creates a barrier so things aren't rolling forward. It's a nice uh, kind of like a, a back splash there, or not a back splash, a bulkhead. That's what I was trying to say. And um, yeah, so that's how much room is back there. You lift up that floor and you get a room for a tunnel cover. And this has the Fender audio system. So you have the subwoofer back there and underneath that subwoofer, because it's so big, they still even fit a spare tire. So a lot of other vehicles, you know, they basically take that area for the spare tire and they put the subwoofer in that. Well, this you get the spare tire and the subwoofer there. Uh, when you fold the seats down, you get a totally flat area on this vehicle. Those second row seats, they fold, they recline, they slide back and forth and you have unlimited amount of room. Like seriously, I was sitting back there and you know, I was just like, I can't believe how much leg, I can stretch my feet all the way underneath that seat. And, and that seat is actually set to where Cynthia would actually 
sit. So um, there is so much room in this thing. And one thing to note, this exec line has only one option. There's one package on this, and that is the captain's seats in the second row, as you notice. So this essentially is a six passenger vehicle, but that is an option. If you don't want that, you do get a bench in the middle and that gives you seven passengers. Now, and there are a lot of headrooms up here <laughs> okay. too. Very impressive actually for third row. A lot of headroom yes. back there as well. And also when you get back there, to when you actually fold, uh, put that seat forward, it's really, really easy to actually get into the back and it creates a large area. There, there's that, that torque I was telling you about coming off the line there. This thing's got great pickup from, you know, for the initial, you know, zero to 50 kilometers an hour. It's it's really, really responsive. So on the inside, this exec line, we get, we get leather seats, heated and cooled in the front, power seats. We have a memory setting. We have heated seats in the rear as well. And I do like that this has tri-zone climate control. You get your own control in the rear and there's lots of air vents for everyone on this vehicle, even the third row. And room wise, not only cargo room, we have huge door pockets here. We have multiple water bottles on, on the sides. I got my Yeti there, this middle compartment, massive big junk collector, garbage collector. We've got so much stuff here. We have four USB-Cs, wireless charging, a, a standard digital cockpit, eight inch uh, infotainment screen, and that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They are wireless. And this also has a 360 camera as well. You know, you have you know netting on uh, in the middle area here. You even have a storage compartment on the top of the dash. So you're never in need of more storage with this vehicle. There's just so many compartments and areas to put things. You'll probably end up losing a lot of things in here. This comes with standard four motion all wheel drive in the center console here, you do have a drive mode dial and that can also control different modes for your all wheel drive. We have snow, we have off road and for our drive modes, we have eco, normal, sport and custom. And we haven't even really played much with sport. I, I just put it in there right away, it geared down and it's kind of not necessary for a vehicle like this, even though this does have a sporty uh, R line package, it looks sporty, but you know what? At the end of the day, this is a family vehicle and I'm not sure you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, sporty driving with a whole car load of people, especially if some of them actually get a little bit motion sick sometimes. So we're gonna put that back there to normal. Like I said, plenty of pickup. Now, for family vehicles, sometimes you might want to tow something, maybe a camper, an RV, maybe a boat. This particular Atlas with the 3.6 is capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds. You'll see that we do have a two inch receiver plus a wiring harness back there. All right, the girls just asked me for their water, which it's in the door <laughs> pocket on the passenger side. There's no way I can reach up. It's just too far away. This vehicle is not only long, it's very, very wide as well. So how well does the Atlas handle the family? You know what? Proof's in the pudding. It pretty well exceeds every single category in the family aspect. All right, what are the highs and the lows? Well, the highs, it is so spacious for everyone. There is no issue, no one's arguing about room or elbow room or leg room at all. You can have uh, six or seven actual full-size adults in this vehicle. That third row is so usable. Uh, cargo rooms, awesome. No compromises. Like I said, we have a full spare tire, yet we have a subwoofer. Uh, we have the digital cockpit and everything is easy to use. It's very intuitive. We've been using some other infotainment systems lately that are kind of not intuitive and it's kind of frustrating to use. This is very, very easy to figure out completely. Next thing, this vehicle is very capable, not just in carrying a lot of cargo or people. Well, towing 5,000 pounds towing capacity. So that is great too. And looks, I think it looks great, especially in this color. It, you know, it's stunning and it's big, you know, so that makes a big difference. 
And on the lows, well, I mentioned it earlier, the fuel economy isn't the greatest, especially if you're driving this uh, a lot in the city, a lot of stop and go traffic. Uh, it's gonna be pretty high on the highway. It's not too bad at all. And um, yeah, there's not a lot of other lows that I could think of. Um, in the back seats, they said, oh, there's no TVs. Well, there's no entertainment system. You'll have to supply your own iPad. So this exact line uh, will run you about 57,000 Canadian dollars. And um, yeah, so that's top of the line. The captain seat package is an extra $700, and that's about it. You're gonna add your tax and your destination on top of that. But with that, you get a very functional, very capable, luxurious, and big, big family vehicle. That's it from the Volkswagen Atlas for our family review. Everyone say goodbye. Ciao. See you later. Meow. 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 <laughs> Meow.